Hello everyone, this is video instruction for teddy bear making class that is part of Camera Obscura. So, yep, here's the studio. Finally get to use the studio, so super happy. And this class and also except for Pokemon in class or other classes, these are definitely intermediate to advanced people class, so bear with me and I highly recommend you to watch this video from start to finish and then if you want to you can start work on your um, project and see which one would need like which part would need your help and all that like have the questions in your mind before the class starts and if you want to do like same time like we are going to make teddy bear from start to finish during the class then I would highly recommend you to at least cut the patterns out first so it will cut down our class time and we'll have more time to have Q&A's or any technical issues solves all those so all that in mind this will be our final product and it takes about a half yard of fabric um, that's uh, 44 inches wide and then half yard should cover this little guy and beauty of this one would be you can pretty much position arms and legs and also the head to the to your liking so you can actually like look at the side with warm arm up or it can be standing or sitting so I chose this but it will be highly up to you give it a character give it an attitude and let's start making this bear. Thank you for joining the class. So here we are. All the parts of the pattern is cut out. And here are the essentials. And of course, don't forget your sewing machine. It will be really helpful if you have it. So that's the side of the face. It goes like this. You cut two of them out. And that's the middle part of the head that uh, that will be between those two panels of face so you just need one and there goes a the body just cut two of them out and the arms well each arm will need two so in total of four that you need to cut out and four legs each legs needs two so four and that's sole of the feet so you need two of them for each legs and ears cut four of them out because each ear would have two of them and then there goes your trustworthy scissors and also we do need still do need um needle and about yeah half yard of fabric any fabric will do so what I would do is just laying them out and honestly for this demonstration I just found pieces of fabric that is kind of laying around and to be honest um, if you mix and match just any type of fabric especially cottons it will look really cute it's like a patchwork bear and that's what I usually do anyways and for the ear part we will have to cut the little slit out and then slide the ear in so you have to draw them in to the pattern and fabric itself and start cutting everything else so just show you two of the face this is the middle of the head so it will be attached like that in two years that goes within that slit oh and for all the other parts indicate a little slit that you will keep it open so you can flip each part so just give it a little mark have a little indication so you don't accidentally close everything and also when you're cutting the fabric give yourself about uh, like half an inch extra room and 
again mark your legs and everything else will get close including the sole so we are ready so head is a little difficult part because you just have to um, get the underside of the muzzle first just attach them together and then you have to fold well indicate the middle of both top of the nose and the top of the head piece and then you have to kind of put them together it's um and also two pieces of head piece should be go on top while you're attaching them together and the end result should look like this so again the middle of the head part will go between two face parts and then you will see two like bottom of the head attached together like under the muzzle and then have the top part going attached and everything else is pretty much straight up just put them together sew them together and probably legs will be more difficult part but arm and the body you just kind of leave the one inch open and then just close them together for legs though you need to have all the other parts but the bottom of the feet should be still open since you are going to attach the sole so for feet bottom of the foot open and also leave the one inch open so you can flip it and just trying to um, place the two leg parts on top of and kind of trying to make it round go on top of the sole and this pattern is cut out a little larger so don't mind having some extra fabric hanging around as long as the sole of the foot is oval shape should be good and of course flip everything through the hole that's the earpiece which will show you how to attach so this is a part you'll have fun with your stuffing and I believe about eh, eight ounces would do good and stuff everything else um, including ear just put a little bit of it and then what you're going to do leave the face part and start cutting the indicator for the ear we are going to flip the ear the right way and we will attach the ear using the slit that we're cutting out directly and just slide it in and see if it fits if you need to cut a little bit more out than what is already indicated then you kind of cut it out toward the middle one like in this case cut a little more to make the ears fit by cutting the gray piece so that's the top of the head part that we just cut a little bit off and just place your stuffed ear and this time I kind of attach it lightly using needle and thread so when you actually use the machine to put them more securely this will be um, indicator of where to do it easier so just needle goes in and out in and out make little digits that's about it so do for the both of the ears so go while you can see the seams of everything the ear that is flipped goes right inside of the slit and then from inside you roughly attach the ear and clean it up with sewing machine the way you close the gap that you just flipped and stuffed your bear's body parts with 
uh, you can do this fast way, or if you want to do more, I guess, fancier version, you can definitely use ladder stitch. I might have video on how to do those stitches, or honestly, there are really good videos available on online to learn how to do those stitches. Um, for, and also to be honest, I am using black thread to show you guys how this goes more easier, but I would usually try to match up the color of my thread with the fabric that I'm using. So last, very last part to stuff would be head since you have to stuff the ears first and then go back at it to assemble the head and then closing of the head would be just a very big hole at the bottom you kind of gently go around and pull your thread really really hard and then all the leftover flap that's out you just kind of put it back inside of the hole and then you go over like try to think about it as making a star shape and just pull those and kind of close it as tight as you can and you can reshape the head by adjusting the position of stuffing inside so next step I usually put the head on the body first and now you are doing ladder stitch between head and the body needle goes in through the head and then thread comes out with needle and then you put that inside of the body and then put the needle inside of the body needle comes out thread comes along then the needle goes back to the head needle comes out from the head go to the matching place in the body and you kind of do it around the entire parameter of the head so everything else goes similar you position the body first and then you put the needle in and out in and out between the body and the arm or leg or head and once you think it's tight enough like you can go around and do this part as many times as you want but if you feel like it's tight enough then you can definitely um, pull it real tight then make little knots and put your needle through the different um, to the body and pull until you feel that little tug and click of the knot that you just made and that's it you are going back at different part of the body needle goes in and out between body and arm then goes around if you think it's all tight and you feel like you secure the entire body position then you pull it that's about it so thank you for watching this video and hopefully through the zoom we will be able to talk in detail about how to attach those body parts it really helps to have the doll needle which is very long needles but I don't see why not use just regular needles so if you have your doll needles definitely use it it will make your life easier if you don't feel free to bring just regular needle you have